Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. And guys, if you have not already, I'm going to need you to punch that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a Satoshi Boomin video. We got these Satoshi Boomin VChain videos daily. First, I'd like to give a shout out to my wonderful, amazing, super califragilistic espialidocious Patreon subscribers. Thank you so much, Sean D, AJ, and Bread Garlic House. I really appreciate you guys. You keep me running. You keep me getting up every morning with a big old smile on my face, getting these V-Chain videos out to you daily. Shout out to subscriber gang. Shout out to affiliate clicker gang. Y'all are the real ones. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. And let's get right this show right started. That was messed up, but I'm not going to start over. <laughs> Looking at the 24-hour chart here, guys, we are up. Almost 9%. We are up like Donald Trump. Things are looking good, guys. I mean, yesterday we must have had massive FOMO. I don't know why, um, but I'm not complaining. Again, the price is irrelevant to me. I, I really don't care anymore. Like, at the end of the day, we are correct. We are correct. Now, nothing is a sure thing in this world, but just like LeBron James's mama... All we have to do is nurture it, make sure it doesn't stub its toe, make sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, and the fruits of our labor should be paid off. Uh, still having a resistance at that point zero one eight cent mark, but with more news coming out and other partnerships, we still don't know what the huge North American partnership is. Some are speculating KFC, some are speculating... Um, Subway, I heard another fast food, McDonald's. I don't think it's McDonald's. If it was McDonald's, I don't even need to tell you what, what could happen. Although, I really haven't eaten at McDonald's for a very long time. Like, it's been a few years. I mean, I don't really know of anyone who's like, oh, hey, let's go to McDonald's anymore. I guess it must be a... <clears throat> A trend change of some sort. But I believe, and I could be completely wrong, that the partner is PepsiCo due to the Walmart of China CEO leaving to start working with PepsiCo. But that's neither here nor there. That's just speculation. Um, the chart's looking good today, guys. Hopefully, we could keep going up. Hopefully, the trend continues upwards and we can get past that two cent mark. All right, new alt season visualized top 10 cryptos outperforming Bitcoin. Now, this was two weeks ago. This was before, you know, the Bitcoin boom. Uh, but VeChain here <clears throat> a couple weeks ago has outperformed Bitcoin by 38 percent. Absolutely insane. It was rated as the third best performing crypto asset of the week. Um, so speculate that the participation of the VeChain team at a major conference might indicate product announcement. Others believe that rally derives from anticipation of Coinbase listing. Now, I wanted to bring that up, okay? On June 11, Coinbase said that it's reviewing VeChain along with 19 other cryptocurrencies mentioning VeChain. The exchange said, <clears throat> we are exploring the addition and range of new assets as a part of the exploratory process. Customers may see public-facing APIs and other signs that we are conducting engineering work to support these assets. Now... I don't think Coinbase is coming, guys. I do not think Coinbase is coming. And the reason why is because I've been following the Coinbase Pro Twitter, and they posted this today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coinbase continues to explore support for new digital assets. Now, is this similar? Didn't we see this last month? And a couple months before that? They're gonna. They're looking to explore new assets. Ampleforth, Bam Protocol, Balancer, Blockstack, Curve, Fetch.ai, Flexicoin, Helium, Hedera, Hashgraph, Kava, Melon, Ocean Protocol, Paxos Gold, Reserve Rights. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. TBTC and the Graph, Theta, UMA, and WBTC. Now, I be hearing you know people all up in my comments section. 
you know, people all over crypto social media talk about Coinbase is a done deal. I'm telling you guys, Coinbase does what they want to do. They don't care about coins that are actually popular. They do some insider trading BS that, you know, we have no control over. Coinbase is not going to list VeChain. I'm telling you that right now. If they do list it, it's going to be like a year from now once VeChain's already pumped, like they did with XRP. Like... They just do their own thing. I do not know how they're the number one coin. I don't know how they're the number one exchange. I just don't. They just do not listen to their customers. Their fees are hella high. No one was asking for Maker. No one was asking for Agroland. Nobody. Algorand. Nobody. If you look at their Twitter, <laughs> they say, oh, we're going to be releasing stuff. It's strictly ADA, VeChain. You get some Matic in there. No one was asking for Al Algorand. Nobody. <clears throat> but they were like, hey, guys. Surprise. We added the koi that you've been wanting. Is it VeChain? No. No, it's not VeChain. Is it ADA? No. Is it Matic? No. Digibyte? Yeah, did you add Digibyte? No. We added Algorand. We added Omise Go. Yay, aren't you happy? Yay. No. 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 We don't want that. We want VChain. We want ADA. <clears throat> we want Matic. We want Digibyte. We want Zillica. But they do their own thing. They got their own agenda, you know, so I'm not going to even try to worry about Coinbase. I'm going to get Coinbase out of my head. Coinbase, I don't think it's happening. OK, because <laughs> I mean, some of these coins here, you know, I mean, this this was when June 10th is when they released the Coinbase uh, announcement. And yeah, they they just do their own thing, man. Um, they just do their own thing, and uh, yeah. So, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna hold my breath for Coinbase at all. <clears throat> you know, if they add it, great. If not, you know, V Chain can stand <clears throat> can stand on its own two legs without it. Um, I just hope that Binance gets it gets it right and is allowed to work in America and they clean up their their basic trading platform to make it cleaner and more user friendly and have more fiat gateways because Coinbase I don't know why. They <laughs> you know I don't know why they're the top coin the the top exchange. It just does not make it any sense to me and uh yeah they just have high fees low amount of listings and they don't really care about the customers they don't not holding my breath let's move on ron dalton shout out to him vtho burning has been phenomenal today currently 5.7 million has already been incinerated with a few more hours to go. Big accounts keep on increasing their burn rate and new accounts are joining the party every single week. Enterprise adoption is already here. Mass adoption is already here. Have you eaten something from VeChain? Have you eaten something tracked and traced on the VeChain blockchain? I think you might have. Let's take a look. Smashing through Vitho. Vitho burn is looking good. Transactions are a little bit lacking there, but we need to 10x our transactions. And we are doing the skip to my Lou dance, indeed. Ron Dotton again posts VFAM producers market has fully registered. 109 producers and producer groups from 37 countries so far, and they are now working to register over 250 members simultaneously. 
they are directing their energy towards integrating producers with storage birds. So, producers market does not stop. <clears throat> they keep going daily with these new partnerships. And I'm telling you guys, we are using VeChain without even knowing it. It's happening. It's occurring. So, oh, I am not following producers market. What? That is blasphemy. Let's give that a like and a retweet. Moving on. <clears throat> VeChain has another presentation that they're going to. They're presenting blockchain solutions at largest IoT exhibition worldwide. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Yikes. VeChain will present with Avery Denison Intelligent Labels new blockchain IoT solutions for the corporate sector at the International Internet of Things exhibition in Shenzhen. The IoT 2020, IOTE 2020 is the largest Internet of Things exhibition in Asia that attracts more than 800 professionals and more than 130 trade visitors from various industries every year. Currently, IOTE 2020 is taking place from July 29th to the 31st <clears throat> July 2020 in Shenzhen, China, and presents the most advanced business solutions in the field of blockchain and Internet of Things. The conference is one of the largest conferences in the world in this sector and attracts more than 800 professionals and up to 130,000 trade visitors per year. <clears throat> VeChain, in cooperation with Avery Denison Intelligent Labels, Sorry, I need some tea, man. I have an urge to cough. I feel good. The sore throat has definitely calmed down. But uh, <clears throat> these allergies, man, are kicking my rear end. Anyway, presents the latest blockchain and IoT solutions in a wide range of industries such as food, retail, automotive, pharmaceutical, and logistics. The 19 pandemic in particular has changed <clears throat> the corporate landscape and customer behavior significantly. As a result, the demand for safe and traceable food on e-commerce platforms and the public awareness of sustainable health and safety has increased. According to a study conducted by IBM, 71% of consumers are willing to pay a premium of up to 37% for companies that offer complete transparency and traceability. Did not know that. <clears throat> the report indicates that more than 70% of all companies surveyed have serious tracking gaps between the systems of the initial supplier and the final customer in the food supply sector. No bueno. Especially in today's world, ensuring traceability should be a top priority. I would agree. Now, let's take a look at this blurb. According to a new report by Cointelegraph Consulting Blockchain and IoT Solutions are estimated to save companies worldwide more than $100 billion in costs. Further, blockchain technology is expected to be implemented by 10% of companies in the food industry area of traceability by 2023. <clears throat> then it goes down to talk about uh, VeChain Toolchain platform and the traceability solution below. So, Breaking this down, guys, by 2023, we're going to be saving companies hundreds of billions of dollars. You don't think that that's valuable in the marketplace? And what happens when something is valuable in the marketplace? They could charge more money for their services, <coughs> thus increasing the price. All we need is adoption. Adoption is here, and now all we need is price appreciation. So this is extremely bullish news. Shout out to VeChain for doing this. Shout out to uh, all the VeChain devs. So, and I think the uh, the conference ends today. So, all right, guys. I believe that is it. Let's go on ahead. Thirteen seventy-seven. Seventeen hours and two minutes. And 40 seconds to the next Bitcoin block having, guys. Bitcoin has not slammed down. 
It has not. It is staying stable. Let's take a look at the markets here in a second. Shout out to Patreon gang, Sean D, AJ, and Bread Garlic House. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Shout out to Affiliate Gang. All you got to do is click the link. Do your shopping on Amazon with my link. I really appreciate it. You're going to go on Amazon anyway and shop. Use my link. Give me a little. Come on. Shout out to Subscriber Gang. If you're not subscribed, go ahead down below and check. Just check to see if you are subscribed. And hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. I'm humbled that you'll come here to watch me every day. And it puts a big old cheesy smile on my face to do these videos because I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> this is amazing that I could earn money talking about crypto. <sighs> what a time to be alive, guys. We are in a golden age. Let's take advantage of it. <clears throat> Let's build businesses. Let's build the world to be a better place post-scarcity and all that. Take a look at the markets. Bitcoin has not slammed down. It is still above 11K. Happy, happy, joy, joy. We are doing the skip to my Lou dance indeed. Ethereum has not slammed down. It is still above 300. This is good. XRP is up 1%. Where's Dylan K at? Are you dead, bro? Come on, I'm gonna need you to comment down below saying XRP is pumping, even though it's up by like 1%. Somebody find Dylan K for me, please. He's gone he's gone dark. Let's take a look at any major coins pumping here. Bancor, Synthetics, V Chain, UMA, Ampleforth. And things that are dumping. Uh Thorchain, Elrond, Yearn Finance. I, I don't know why Yearn is not at zero. But that's neither here nor there. Ave, Terra, Quant. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Don't let your memes be dreams. And I will talk to you tomorrow.